Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. So today's video is super exciting for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it's sponsored by Skillshare. Now I will be talking about them a little bit later in the video, but right now the projects that we are doing are decoupage. You guys know that I absolutely love to decoupage. And one of my amazing subscribers, her name is Jo. Hey, Jo. She sent me some beautiful napkins. So I figured that I would do a whole video on how to decoupage with napkins. Now, of course, all of the items that I am going to be using in these projects are from Dollar Tree and from Dollarama. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the first DIY. All right, you guys, decoupage DIY number one. All right, taking one of these little hexagon decor pieces from the Dollar Tree, I am just going to take off this little blessed wording. I'm just using my scraper. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart, maybe? I'm not sure, it's old. I've had it for a really, really long time, but it is so useful. I know that you can get something like that at the Dollar Tree as well. So it comes off really, really easily, and you can see here that I taped off the inside of that hexagon, and I am painting it with my absolute favorite color, Nantucket Blue. Oh, I love this color, it is so, so pretty, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? My absolute favorite. And then very, very carefully, I am just going to paint the inside of this hexagon with white chalk paint by Folk Art. Um, I only needed one coat for this. This is just to go under my napkin so that you don't see any of that orange color poking through. Now look at this napkin, you guys. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Can you believe that anyone would wipe their face with this napkin? <laughs> like, that just seems like a crime. <laughs> it's so, so beautiful. This is one of the ones that Joe sent me. And so what I'm doing, I'm just taking the layer of like white, I guess, um, off of the bottom. And I'm just going to trace out the shape of this hexagon on the napkins. So of course, I, there's about, what would that be, about a quarter inch um, that would account for the frame. So I just traced it out and then I put little dots on uh, that I'm going to connect while I'm cutting it out. Now, I didn't measure it. This is not perfect, like completely perfect but um, you can always cut it down just a little bit. Uh, having some of that white show on the border, that's really not a big deal. You don't re even really notice it if that happens. So I just cut it down and you can see here, I did not get it perfect the first go around. So I'm just making a little bit of a crease there where the, the cut needs to be made. You see, just like that with my fingernail. This is real professional, you guys. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And so there, there, fits perfect. Awesome. There we go. Good job, Brie, good job. <laughs> and of course, to decoupage, you need some Mod Podge. So I do put like a solid layer down and I just kind of go along like a little bit at a time, add some more Mod Podge, pat it down, do not rub it, just pat it down, and then complete it all the way to all of the edges. Pat, 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 you see? There we go. And then of course, we are going to go over top of the napkin with another layer of decoupage, just so that air wouldn't do it with Mod Podge. <laughs> 
just to make sure that it's all secured down. Isn't that so pretty? This is so easy, you guys, and it's so easy to make things beautiful when you have beautiful things to work with. Like these napkins are stunning. So, so beautiful. And so what I'm making here is a key holder for my front door. So I'm just marking off three, um, three places to drill in with my drill. <laughs> And uh, so that I can screw in my little gold hooks there that I got off of Amazon to hang my keys at the front door. And I couldn't get it completely tight just using my fingers, so I did use my pliers just to give it that extra half turn there. And just screwing them all in, making sure that they're nice and straight. And see, I have to turn that one all the way around. My fingers are delicate, you guys. <laughs> and the final touch is putting on our sawtooth hanger. So power drill, put the sawtooth hanger on and put the little screws in. And that is it, you guys. We are done. How easy is that? And it, I think it looks so high end, so Gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Okay guys, and now a word from our sponsors, Skillshare. Woo -woo. <laughs> All right, you guys, here I am popping in just to talk about our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators. It is a place where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and totally get lost in creativity. You guys, they have classes on crafting, on photography, on illustration, on painting, on pretty much anything that you can think of to expand your creative abilities. Now Skillshare is curated specifically for learning. So that means that you don't have to sit through any ads and you can totally get lost in creativity. So the class that I just recently took is called The Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges. It took about an hour and a half to go through the entire class. And I will tell you that I learned so much about the ins and outs of my camera. I've totally improved the way that I take photos. I have a new lens as well. And these photos of my daughter on her graduation day came out so well, thanks to this class. All right, you guys, the first thousand of my viewers to click the link down in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity. And a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And with that being said, let's get back into those DIYs. Okay, you guys, decoupage DIY number two. Now, these wooden planks I get at Dollarama. I am going to cut off the bottom here. Snap. <laughs> Magical. Because I only wanted to use three of those slats. So I'm just taping down the hanger, the twine hanger there, just so it doesn't get in the way. And I am going to paint the whole thing up with my white chalk paint. So, and, and if you don't have a Dollarama, you can absolutely make this out of those wood planks from Dollar Tree and some painter sticks in the back, like super, super easy. I'm just lucky that we have them at Dollarama and I don't have to do that. 
So now I'm just taking my Parisian gray from Folk Art and I'm just distressing just a titch. Again, always giving it that little extra touch, a little bit more dimension, making it look a little weathered. And now this napkin, again from Joe, it is so beautiful. And I got this little jar from Dollar Tree. And so I'm going to, again, take the first two plies of the napkin off of, of here, like the white plies. And we are going to measure it out on this jar. So I just rolled it like super simple, not really difficult. You guys just roll it up, kind of, you know, mark it off to where, you know, it kind of ends and then rock and roll, cut it down. So again, with our Mod Podge, you can see the thickness of the layer that I do use on there. Like it's generous, but it's not crazy because you don't want to completely saturate the napkin so that it tears. So you can see here, putting it on nice and straight, dabbing it down. Don't rub it really hard because you will definitely tear the napkin. Trust me, I've done it multiple times. And again, just, you know, going around, putting the Mod Podge down, tapping the napkin down all the way around our cute little jar. Like, isn't that napkin? so gorgeous joe seriously thank you so much you sent me some beautiful beautiful things to work with and so i also put some mod podge on the bottom of the jar and you can see here i'm just kind of folding it down putting some of the mod podge over top to secure it and kind of smooth it using my fingers smooching it down you know you know the drill and then I do blast it with my heat gun to help it dry just a little bit. And it also, when you, when it's, when like the Mod Podge is almost dry, it's a little bit easier to tack down to the glass as well. It's kind of like eyelash glue, you know, how you have to kind of wait until it's a little bit dry and then you put your lashes on. <laughs> kind of the same concept. <laughs> Okay, put another layer of Mod Podge over top, and then I am just going to put that hanger back onto the jar. So now I'm taking one of those little hooky things. Um, what do they got? Eye hook, I believe. And I just marked the center of that top plank there so that I can put or screw the eye hook into the top plank because that's what the jar is going to hang from. And then I just kind of pry it open with my pliers out of frame <laughs> and hook the jar on and then pry it back with my pliers. And there you have it. How simple is that? And now taking some of these, what are they? Fairy lights, I think from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna thread that through the bottom seam there like the bottom space there and then stuff it into my jar so that the jar lights up it's gonna be so pretty you guys and I just hot glued the battery pack to the back make sure that you are hot gluing the side without the screw so that you can actually change out the batteries and because the battery pack is sticking out a little bit from the sign I use some of those tumbling tower blocks just to you know make up for that on the back so it sits flush on the wall and that's it like look at that oh I can't wait till you see it all lit up you guys oh it's so pretty
right, you guys, last one, decoupage DIY number three. Okay, so taking this really very high quality vase from the Dollar Tree, and I am actually going to be painting the bottom of this white. So I am going to just tape off kind of the neck of the vase in a nice straight line or as straight as possible. And then I'm going to paint the entire bottom of this vase with my white chalk paint. Now, because it's glass, I did have to do three coats because I did want it to be very, uh, very solid, very opaque. And now these napkins I actually bought at Dollarama. I think that they're so super vintage. Like how beautiful. I cannot believe how many gorgeous napkins there are out there. I, it makes me want to go to dinner parties and I'm just going to like, you know, check out people's napkins and basically just steal a couple. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is just measuring, it's about a quarter of an inch, so a whole bunch of strips of this napkin. And I am keeping them in order so that I can put them in order around the vase. So you can see here, I'm just taking my Mod Podge and going down, you see the grooves on that vase? It's so so pretty so just following the lines of the grooves taking some Mod Podge and a strip of the napkin and just placing that nice and straight down that groove and you can see how I'm just patting it down because I do not want that napkin to rip so just secure it down tap 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 gingerly nice and gingerly <laughs> and then I am going to put uh, the other layer of Mod Podge right over top there very very gently just to be sure that I do not tear those strips of napkin Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Like, I don't know, would you call this shabby chicish? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure really what the style is. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And so again, you know, doing the same thing and we're gonna go all the way around the vase using these little strips of napkin in order as we go. And you can do this with any napkins, you guys. You can cover the whole thing if you wanted to with a napkin. I just really wanted to have that little bit of contrast between the white paint and that beautiful vintage pattern that's on that napkin there. And it seems I'm going to show you quite a bit of this. Tap, 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 smooth on the Mod Podge. And there we go. And then of course I am cutting off the excess that's going around the bottom there. Geez, I show you guys a lot of this. Do you get the idea? Like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you guys got it by now. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. And then Around that tape at the top, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and cutting off the excess around the top so that it is nice and straight. And so that when I remove the tape, that I don't accidentally pull up any of the napkin that's actually Mod Podge down there. So there we go. Now taking some uh, macrame cord that I got off of Amazon, I'm just going to glue that around the top just to kind of hide that seam there and to give it that final touch on this vase. So I went around twice and this the second time that I go around there, I'm just going to tie it in a knot and it's kind of like dangling down a little bit further, you can see there. 
So now I am going to take a few of the beads that I got in a great big huge package from Dollarama. Beautiful beads. I've actually seen these beads I think at Dollar Tree potentially. I'm not sure but these come in a huge package at Dollarama for like four bucks it's crazy it's such a good deal and so i put five of those on didn't paint them didn't do anything with them very very natural looking i didn't want to take away from the beautiful pattern of that napkin i just kind of wanted to give it you know a little bit of an extra touch of course and then just cutting off the excess fraying the edges and that is it you guys i just think this is absolutely stunning so so beautiful all right you guys that is it for this wonderful decoupage video seriously it's my favorite thing to do i think that the possibilities are endless when you're talking about decoupage you can use napkins tissue paper any kind of pattern paper you can actually get decoupage paper as well i've looked on amazon they have gorgeous patterns like again possibilities are endless so thank you so much to joe for sending me these beautiful napkins i appreciate you so much and thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video make sure you check out the link down in my description box i also have a buy me a coffee link down there if you wanted to contribute to my channel and help me bring you more diys and if you like what you see do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. Okay, you guys. Mm. Okay, you guys, so today we are going to be decoupaging. <laughs> And so, with that being said, let's do the thing. Get your decoupage on, my peeps. All right, you guys, the first thousand people who click the link down in my... Abby, can you turn down the music? Brother blows. We're kicking it with the decoupage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's get at it. <laughs> okay, so yes. Yeah, All right, you guys. The first thousand people who click the link down in my description box will get a mutt. <sighs>